guys, what's up? It's Beef6 here again uh, with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Uh, this time what I'm going to do is, um, now there is a 2x uh, legendary, uh, uh, 2x, uh, you know, sacred shard legendary event going on right now. Um, at the tail end of it, actually, it's uh, it's about, what is it, an hour, hour 38 minutes left of it. I was kind of hesitant on pulling because for one thing I don't really... I still got a lot of legendaries I need to uh, gear up and uh, and level up still, so I don't, you know, it's like putting on more, putting more on the plate. But I mean, like, you really can't miss on a 2x event. I mean, like the double legendary events are awesome too, but the 2x event with that 12% uh, chance, uh, definitely gonna go for it. Uh, I've got nine shards saved up over the last month or so, so or since the last time I pulled, so um, I think I'm gonna go for it. I mean, with nine shards, I mean, I will hit mercy because I'm already uh, about six shards in, I believe. Um, uh, without hitting the legendary, so, uh, or since the last one. Um, shouldn't have to depend on getting mercy every time, because then that really, percentage-wise, that doesn't make any sense. But I'm going to go for it. Uh, I do uh, believe I have enough. Yes, I do. Uh, nine shards, uh, thousand, ten thousand, bleh, hundred thousand silvers. So I do have a million. Yeah, it's not a lot of silvers I have right now, because I was using... A lot of them to upgrade some artifacts, but uh, I'm gonna give it a try. Nine shards. I'm gonna pull all nine, um, regardless of if I hit any legendary. But I really hope I do at least get one or two. That would be nice, because again, I'm gonna hit mercy anyways. But I'm really hoping it's just not like you have to hit mercy to get a legendary, because that's just my RNG really, really bad as usual. All right, let's go for shard number one. One of nine, and it's an epic, uh, but it said. Duodan, nice tanky uh, Sylvan Watcher. Um, unfortunately, I already have one, so it's probably just going to be a guardian, a faction guardian perhaps, and it might sit in the vault as my spare. I don't think it's a game changer. I already have one again, as I said. Let's. Um, all right, let's uh, let's quickly do number two, shard number two, my legendary, and of course that other. Epic and it's a uh, Teresk. Teresk? Ter like Teresa? Teres ter ter Tereska? <laughs> Crap, I already have one too. So um so far getting getting not so good uh pulls. Um this kinda reminds me of a few months ago when I did one doing a 2x event and didn't get any legendaries from I think was it twelve shards? And not only that, um, they were all like doubles or like really bad epics. Yes, there are really bad epics out there, and um, at least ones that are not useful when you're kind of mid to end game, like mid to. I, 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 I'm, I'm definitely above mid game a little, just because I've been playing it for like about a, over a couple of years now. Um, but I'm not like a whale or anything like that, um, so don't really have the spending power that a lot of whales have that would actually put money into the game and totally give themselves uh, some major advantages. Anyways, so it's over two, uh, and two um, dupes, I guess. Faction Guardian, maybe. Alright, pull number three. Three of nine. And it's another epic. Oh, it's uh, Vrask. Now, Vrask is actually pretty decent for what he does. Um, he has this... Uh, what is it? It's every turn he can heal his uh, allies for 10% of his max hit points, pretty much. Uh, or actually, every time they inflict a critical hit. Uh, I already have a Vrask, so unfortunately, again, it's another dupe. So that's 3 for 3, or I guess you can say 0 for 3 for legendaries, but 3 for 3 for epics that I really don't even need at the moment, like dupes. Actually, I haven't really thought about what epics I would need if I, if I hit, you know, an epic that's good. But we shall see. Um... On to shard number four. Come on, legendary. And it's another epic. Oh, it's Mistress of Hymns. Ah. The uh, kind of a cardinal clone, except not as good. And I have a Mistress of Hymns, anyways. Um, Mistress of Hymns is actually okay. A lot of people think it's like one of the worst, I think, epics, but um, I mean, she does have the, uh, you know, Revive for two allies and 50% hit point and veil, I guess, ascended. Um, and it's, she's built on attack, that's the thing. Her healing is built on attack of the damage inflicted. So, I think if it was it Hell Hades or um, 
or Ash or one of the one of the uh, YouTubers, uh, the Raid Shadow Legend YouTubers, are mentioning that uh, I guess the build was wrong for most people because if you build her to do damage, she can actually heal pretty decently. But unfortunately, again, it's another epic and another dupe. So that's uh, 0 for 4. Uh, we're at the halfway point now, and technically, I think I'm no wait, I'm at about 10 for mercy so i can hit 12 i believe right so really hope i don't need to hit mercy in order to, to get a legendary but we shall see it is a 2x event so uh i'm really hoping to get at least one if not two that would be nice uh just because when you get a legendary you're not, you're not guaranteed to get a really good legendary either because uh, still remembering my nobel noble pull <laughs> all right so what number are we at number five midway point another epic and it's another gory interesting name gory uh, i guess he, he could be kind of gory but not really i guess if you see his face you can see his mouth you can see his teeth um but unfortunately yes another dupe and another epic for me so far over oh, five i don't even know what gory does like i don't think i even bothered to saw him i'm kind of like yeah i'm not gonna slot into my shadow can line up or anything let's ignore defense and shields on a 3 and 50% of the target's defense if they're under a freeze so counter attack whenever they do that on an ally oh it's a, it's a counter attack champion um counter attack with a1 anyways um probably gonna go into the vault and faction guardian if i if i need any more for shadow king so 0 for 5 um yeah so for um really disappointed i was hoping to actually pull one in the first half and then therefore hoping for that second legendary and you know the last few shards but now i only got four shards left and now i'm really hoping to get at least one because uh damn i'm really having bad luck with sacred shard pulls for whatever reason all right, so number five is done. Over five. Now let's go. Legendary, come on. Here we go. A Hefrak. Ooh, this is a nice. This is a nice one. Hefrak is, I believe, one of the top nukers. You can build them up really good in arena. Um, right now, I'm using my uh, Nishak, uh, my good old Rat Boy, for for bombs and bombs can take care of stone skin pretty good which is nice but if you want someone that could actually nuke an aoe nuke that could do like a hundred thousand plus damage in arena to your to the enemy team uh half rack is the guy and this is actually a good one uh i'm i'm happy about this one i'm happy about this pull because um yeah i can i can definitely use them in my demon spawn i've already completed faction war so i don't have to worry about that but um It'll help speed up the runs when I'm, you know, farming the, uh, what do you recall, those runes or whatever, the, uh, blah, 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 what, why can't I think of the word? Uh, the things you use to up the stats, <laughs> whatever those things are, yeah, in, in Faction Wars, but, um, this will help in my arena team, it'll give me a little bit, a little bit of extra flavor, uh, so I don't have to use Nishak for everything, because bombs work really well, but, um, yeah, not, not for every encounter so uh, this this might uh, this might bump me up a bit um, I'm currently gold five um, close as I've been to plat is about like a hundred points away but just can't seem to break through into platinum I'm hoping one one day um, when I'm when I'm gonna do a little bit more in arena because I really don't have time to do that many matches all the time uh, if I can like do matches every day all day for like the whole week i might be able to break into platinum which would be great um do i have s tier champions i think i do i think i have enough champions that could probably do it i have to pick my fights uh, and plus i do auto in arena which is probably not a platinum type of thing to do but i do auto in arena just because of the time constraints but i guess if i do manual i could probably get a few more wins here and there and uh, you never know but this will definitely help having a half frack so i am happy about that that's pull number six um, so I'm one for six then for Hefrak, and that awfully, obviously resets my uh, my mercy. So um, it is a two X event still. I got three sacred shards left. Um, hoping for a second legendary, I really do. Uh, if I'm gonna be stuck with epics like the first five pulls, I'm hoping that they're not just um, I would have to say useless dupes because 
even if they weren't dupes, I don't think they were that great. Uh, except for Vrask. Vrask is a decent healer, I think. Alright, let's see. Hefrak, that's, um, I've been actually looking for this guy, so let's get him. <laughs> Just to improve my arena team. Alright, so, number seven. Sacred Shard number seven. Can we do back to back? Oh, bruh. Totally forgot about that. That didn't free up enough slots. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna jump quickly into my, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. come on, ads. Okay, come on, come on. No ads. Okay, go away, ads. <laughs> I get like 10 pop ups per. Alright, I'm gonna throw some of these guys into the, uh, actually reserve vault. Those uh, epics that I just pulled. I should have made enough room. Totally forgot about that. Um, I can see some of my champions. Uh, not, not all the greatest, and a lot of them I haven't had a chance to really do anything with. Three, four. I'm just gonna throw four of them in there. I'll keep a Vrask out, even though I already have them. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it, I say. I'll throw a Vrask in there too. Bye bye. Alright. I already have one. Okay. Back to the polls. Number seven, can we do back to back? Come on, sacred, come on, buggy. Exactly. Oh, it's an epic. Oh, it's a uh, sea chalk. I know I already have sea chalk. I don't think he's that great either, unfortunately. He's a big dude, but he's an attack champion. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably gonna be a faction guardian as well. I mean, if I'm not gonna get a legendary, can they give me some like really good epics? Cause you know, like game changer ones would be nice. Cause uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna jump to number eight. I'm gonna jump to number eight now. All right, come on, legendary. And that's another epic. And it's Fodbor the Bard. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, hmm. Okay, it's another dupe as well, and it's like, fog for the bard. What, what is he, what is he good at? He's, a, he's got three hit a, a one, so maybe, and a heal reduction, so maybe. Well, it's only a 15% book to 30, but even that's kind of lame. Um, I thought maybe Fire Knight, but I already got some good Fire Knight champions. Fire Knight? Yeah, Fire Knight. Anyways, um, wow. If you need a four turn, it's a four turn AOE book to 60%. Yeah, that's another meh. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I mean, nine shards. I mean, for me, it's actually really like luck of the draw getting a sacred. I mean, I hit Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss and I, I get the top prize all the time, but, um, is usually um, not a uh, not a, a 2x because um, for some reason I don't think my clan hits Ultra Nightmare as often as they should, so um, I don't really get the uh, the 2x on that to try to get more sacred shards. Um, the weirdest thing is I do get a lot of sacred shards from hitting the top uh, top reward for Nightmare, which is weird. And that that one, of course, we definitely do 2x in my clan uh, that I'm in. Um, but anyways, um, I'm actually surprised I actually got, uh, nine shards saved up. I don't even know how that happened. Um, and I'm not even doing the, um, Timoth the Fool, uh, fusion. Um, I guess I could have saved these for CVC. Um, I used to pull shards for CVC, but I actually stopped because I got other, other ways of getting CVC points. Um, and I save these now for 2x. I gotta willpower it and save them up. But, um, I should have just willpowered it and saved them up for the next for the next uh, fusion maybe because I haven't done a fusion in a couple of months uh, I think I skipped the last two just because they weren't weren't too impressive for me all right here we go this is the last one of the night last one of the 2x legendary sh sacred shard pulls uh, my ninth ninth pull hoping for that second legendary hopefully come on we can do it we can do it let's go three two one and <sighs> Oh, dude, it's a Calvalax. This is gonna help my Knight Revenant for one thing, but this guy, man, oh, let's, let's see what he has. Okay, because I've, I've seen him. I've seen him in a lot of arena matches. I think he has an S tier. I'll have to check up on that. So, oh, he's a Poisoner for sure. Okay, so he's got the A1 with the Poisons. And 
and a uh, ooh, heals this champion for 2.5% of their max hit point for each poison debuff on the target. That could be big, especially since it's an A1. A2 is his. Let's see, places an extra hit for each poison, so he can multi hit on his A2. So this is very poison dependent. Does he actually drop poison though? Let's see, attack enemy with chance increase in duration. I think he's kind of like a poison version of um, Magnar then maybe? I don't know. Because it looks like he he's a, he's benefits from poison, but he may not be a poisoner. Attacks an enemy, plays an extra hit for each poison debuff up to three, so yes, yes. And number A3 is attacks all enemies. To defense, damage increases based on, okay, yeah. So he, ba oh, oh, yeah, this guy's this going to be a Hydra champion. This A3 is an enemy max HP. And the number of poison debuffs on each target, so we got a setup champion for poison. Yeah, this guy could do real well. Let's see what his um, passive is. Okay, no, he does have a poison. This is this is great. This has got to be like. Let me quickly look this guy up, actually, because I've never thought I would. Yeah, this is actually great. It got a Hefrak and a Cal Calvalax. Damn. I'm sure glad I pulled this time. Woo! <laughs> it was a 4.5 on Hell Hades, so can't always go by that number, but um, he generally is uh, one of the top um, content creators for Raid Shadow Legends, so um, I like to uh, look around between Hell Hades and Ash and a few others that are out there just to get a rough idea of the Cavalax. Yeah, this guy is definitely. Um, Definitely an S tier. He, he only got a three and a half stars for Hydra, which is weird, but definitely looks like he's good for clan boss, a lot of dungeons, uh, hard mode too, hard mode dragon probably. It's like five star from Hell 80s. So this guy, and he's got about a decent win rate in arena, it looks like. So yeah, this was um, this was awesome. So what is this one? Yeah, places four or five percent debuffs, poison debuffs on all enemies, all enemies for two turns at a start of each round. He poisons each round. Damn. 50% chance of placing 5%. Okay, so four, four of them and 50% of... What? So he places five, four or 5% poisons on all, all enemies at the start of the round, but then he also has another 50% of placing, what, another 5% debuff on all enemies? And then when an enemy places, or whenever an enemy places a poison on this champion, so he doesn't he can't get poisoned, he just removes it right away and replaces it with a 15% continuous heal. So this guy is nice. And he's got an ally uh, ally speed 19 too, so it's not too bad. Wow, okay. Um I'm actually really surprised that I had some decent luck for, for once, I would have to say. Um during these uh, sacred shard pulls ever since I started um recording them and tracking them uh, yeah in, in in video form i guess and putting them on youtube you know, this will be up on youtube in a little bit um but wow so out of the nine um on the 2x i did get hefrak which is going to be great for my arena uh, even though i do use nishak a lot for my uh for my damage um but imagine having both of those guys Whew. and calvalax nice poisoner super all right, I'm gonna be dumping some uh, some gear and stuff into these two guys. That's for sure. Great. This is uh, I'm thoroughly surprised. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, can't see the expression on my face because I do not record with the cam on. Um, maybe eventually I should would do that. But all right. Um, thanks all for watching. Cause uh, there's one happy fellow right here. I'm just telling you that right now. Two. I was hoping for one or two, and I did get two. But they're two top tier quality legendaries yeah all right thanks all for watching uh you know like and subscribe if you like i'll have more gaming videos and probably music videos that's what my channel is about here on youtube um i do sometimes stream on twitch as well when i can get around to that uh but thanks all and uh well see y'all next time